Okay, we're live. Here we go. So good morning. Thank you for joining in. We have a pretty good size group, so that's exciting. Um, we're going to start seated. And for those of you that have not had me in class, my name is Amber. So um, yeah, we'll go ahead and come to a seated position. <clears throat> And then once you arrive there, go ahead and just close your eyes. So now we get to just close out of any distractions, which might be a little more difficult when we're at home. So now we get to practice that a little bit more at our home studio. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And a big sigh out through your mouth. So doing your best to really be present. And I found myself trying to make a really big deal out of this class this morning, like finding something really inspirational and something that would change your life. But I realized that we can take that pressure off. I can take that pressure off and just have a little bit of fun, move together, and just see what happens. So I found a little quote as I was trying to find something life-changing. Um, this one stood out to me, so it may not change your life, but hopefully brings a little smile to your face. So let your weird light shine bright. So the other weirdos, you know, know where to find you. <laughs> so I thought that was fitting as we are kind of in some weird times right now. No, you don't really have a choice because those that you live with are going to see your weird light. So take about three more breaths here. Set an intention for your practice today. We're going to do an hour practice. So maybe think about a feeling that you want to come into. knowing that that's available to you. When you are ready, just go ahead and open your eyes, keeping your, bringing your hands to heart center. And I can see some of you, so. Good, as you inhale, we're gonna shoot the hands up toward the ceiling. And as you exhale, release the arms down by your sides or out to the sides on the fingertips. So the hands are nice and wide. And we're just going to drop the chin to the chest. So finding some length in the back of the neck, finding some space in the spine. Just breathe into the back of your neck, lowering your shoulders down. On an inhale, bring the head to center. And as you exhale, just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. So it might be opposite looking at the screen. But you don't have to worry about getting your rights and lefts correct. Inhale your head to center. And exhale, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Go ahead, inhale your head back to center. And again, exhale, drop your chin towards your chest. And now you're just going to roll the chin from shoulder to shoulder, <clears throat> finding a little bit of movement for the neck. 
opening up any tight areas from sleeping and dreaming all night. And bring your head to center. Let's inhale, reach the arms up, bring the palms together. And as you exhale, drop the hands behind your head, look down, so stretching through the backs of the arms. We're gonna to start to move with breath, so just a little bit quicker. Now inhale, shoot the hands up. Exhale, release the hands nice and wide. On an inhale, reach your left arm up. And on your exhale, lower down to the right side, maybe onto the elbow, onto the forearm, or use a pillow or a block if you want. And stretch through the left side of your body, pressing the left hip down. On an inhale, come up to center. And as you exhale, we'll just come over to the left side or the other side. Stretch your right arm over your right ear. So we're getting another stretch in that side body. Good, so now we'll move a little quicker. Inhale to come up. Exhale to the right side. On an inhale, come up. And exhale to the left side. Let's do one more each way. Inhale, come up. And exhale to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the left. Good, come back to center. Coming onto your mat, so now I'm gonna go to the side. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. Move this down a little bit. There we go. So coming into tabletop. Spread your fingers wide. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. We're just gonna start to move here. So on your inhale, shift forward, stretching those hips forward. And on your exhale, bring your hips towards your heels, moving into extended child's pose. So just moving with that a few times. Inhale, coming up and forward. Exhale to child's pose. Okay, let's do two more. Inhale, come up. Let the hips come forward. And exhale, the hips back. We'll do one more and we'll hold in child's pose on this next one. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, drawing those hips back. Stay in child's pose, walk your hands forward. <clears throat> Lower your hips towards your heels and let your head just drop down to the mat. And maybe find a little bit of movement here. Just seeing how you're feeling through the shoulders, through the back, through the hips. Right, and we're just going to walk your hands over to the right side. And then bump your hips to the left side. So again, stretching into that left side body. You can place the left hand on top of the right, if that feels good. And then draw the shoulder blades down to your back. Take three breaths. Start to walk your hands back to center, hips to center. And then we'll take the hands over to the left side. Maybe place the right hand on top of the left as you bump your hips over to the right side. And then walk your hands back to center. Let's inhale, come up to tabletop. Right away as you exhale, bump your hips to your right. Look over to your left. And just shift forward and back, working through the hips. OK, 
probably pretty tight first thing in the morning. On an inhale, bring your hips to center. And on your exhale, take your hips over to your left. Look towards your right side and shift forward and back. And come back to center. So we're going to stay in tabletop and extend your right leg back. Just starting to find a little bit of movement for the hips and legs. So let's bring the leg over to your left as far as you can. There's the foot. Place the foot down to the floor. Bump your hips to the right. Good. On an inhale, we're going to bring that leg to center. And then exhale, just take the leg over to your right and bump your hips to your left. So moving with breath, inhale, bring the foot over to your left, kind of like a half circle with that leg. And exhale, bring the foot over to the right. Let's do one more. Inhale, bring that foot over to your left. You're bumping your hips to the opposite side. And exhale, bring that foot over to the right. And then go ahead and extend that right leg long. Keep that leg extended, flex through the toes. Reach your left arm forward with your thumb pointing up. On an inhale, find some length. As you exhale, round in knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round in. Let's do one more inhale. And exhale, round in, do that core, extend. Go ahead, bring the left hand down, and we'll set the right knee down. Go ahead and extend your left leg now. Bring the leg over to your right. Place the ball of the foot down to the floor, bump your hips to the left. Good, now inhale, bring that leg to center and over to your left, set the foot down, bump your hips right. So just moving with breath, inhale, bring the foot over to your right, bump your hips left. Good, and take that foot over to the left, bump your hips right. We'll do one more time. Inhale, bring the foot over to the right. And exhale, take that foot over to the left. Good, we'll bring that back leg extended. So left leg is extended. Reach your right arm forward, inhale, find some length. And exhale, round in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round in. One more time, inhale. Good, and exhale. Extend, coming back to tabletop, tuck your toes, fingers spread wide. And on an inhale, start to lift the knees just a few inches here. Find a neutral position for your neck. So maybe gazing a little forward of the hands. Draw the shoulders down and then bring your belly button towards your spine. On your next inhale, start to lift up your hips. Keep your knees bent, and as you exhale, press your heels down. And we'll come into a downward dog, but the knees are bent. So just giving those hamstrings a little time to open up. Go ahead and let your head just drop down. Maybe shake the head side to side. Good, on your next inhale, lift your heels up. And as you exhale, press your heels down, start to work those legs towards straight. Go ahead and bend your left, your left knee and press the right heel down. So isolating that right side. Shoulders relax. And then switch, press your left heel down and bend your right knee. <laughs> Go ahead and press both heels down. Coming into your downward dog. Now the knees are a little bit straighter. And just walk it out.
Next, inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, press your heels down. On your next inhale, come to your high plank. On your exhale, use your knees if you would like, lower all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, lift up the shoulders and chest for cobra. Good, exhale, lower the upper body. On your inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, lower, we're just gonna do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift the upper body, keep the legs down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, the legs up. Exhale, lower, one more each way. Inhale, lift the upper body. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, lower. Go ahead and inhale, come up to tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and find that downward dog. Gazing up now toward the hands without hurting the neck. <clears throat> Excuse me, take little steps forward. Coming into a forward fold with the feet together. Bend your knees, resting your chest and torso on your thighs with the head drop down. And just feel your feet into the mat, shift forward and back. Finding that center, let the head drop down. If you want a little shoulder stretch, you can interlace the fingers together. And reach the knuckles up toward the ceiling, letting the hands drop over your head. Good, go ahead and release the hands down. Take your feet about as wide as the mat, toes out, heels in, we're gonna lower the hips down and bring the hands to heart center. Press the knees back, opening the hips so you find a little bit of movement side to side. Good, release your hands down, lift your hips, and draw those heels straight back. Grab opposite elbows and find a gentle sway side to side. I'm gonna face you guys. I'm gonna switch my views a little bit here. I don't know what's best, so we'll play with it. Release your hands down, place the left hand under your face. Start to bend your left knee and sweep your right arm up. Release the right hand down, begin to bend your right knee, sweep your left arm up. Good, release both hands down. Bring your feet together and really slowly, maybe close your eyes, roll your way up to stand one vertebrae at a time. Standing both feet means standing up. Go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, lift through the chest, drop the shoulders. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, dive forward, come into your forward fold. Place your hands on your shins. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Do that again. Inhale, head up, flat back, straight the legs. Exhale and fold. We'll do one more time. Inhale, head up, flat back. And exhale, fold. Go ahead and set your hands down to the mat and step your right foot back, come into a running stretch. So just shifting forward and back, side to side. On an inhale, tap your right knee down. And on your exhale, stretch into that left leg, drawing the left foot back. Inhale, come back to that runner's lunge. Place the right hand under your right shoulder, we'll reach the left arm up. 
Good, release that left hand down. Inhale, go ahead and come up to crescent lunge. As you exhale, cactus the arms, lower that back knee. Inhale, extend. Do that two more times. Lower the knee, cactus the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Release your hands. Walk your hands over to your right side. So we're going to come into a wide legged fold. Shift your weight forward toward the balls of the feet and let your head drop down. Now point your left toes to the left corner of your mat and then bend into your left knee, lift those right toes. And pivot toward, I guess, the front of your room, the back of your room. Come back to that runner's lunge, step back to your high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower about halfway, elbows hugging. Inhale to your up dog, you can set your knees if you need to. Exhale to your down dog, walk it out. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Shoulders stay square, hips stay square. Flex through the right toes, take an inhale. On your exhale, shift to your high plank, keeping that right leg lifted. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to your high plank. Good, this time inhale, lift the right leg up, stack your hips, bend your knee, and press that left heel down. Inhale, extend the right leg. Bring that right foot forward, come back into your runner's lunge. On an inhale, tap the left knee down. And on your exhale, stretch into your right leg, draw the right hip down. Relax your shoulders. Good, right, come back to your runner's lunge. Place the left hand on your left shoulder, extend the right hand. Bring the right hand down. On an inhale, come up to crescent lunge. And on your exhale, lower the knee, cactus the arms. Two more. Inhale. Good. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands. Walk your hands over to your left. We're going to come into that wide-legged fold. I'm going to switch views so you don't get a behind view. <clears throat> and point your left toes toward the left corner of the mat. Bend, lifting those right toes. Now that I switched views, I'm on this side. Come back to your runner's lunge. I already forgot what we're on. Step back to high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale to your down dog. Go ahead and lift your left leg, shoulders and hips square. Flex through the toes with an inhale. And as you exhale, shift to your high plank. Inhale, lift. Exhale, high plank. On this inhale, we're gonna lift that left leg all the way up, stack the hips and bend the knee. Right heel is pressing down. Inhale, lift your left leg. Step your left foot forward. Lower the right knee as you inhale. And on your exhale, step forward, coming into your fold. Inhale, head up flat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan and come up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, swan and down, forward fold. 
Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step or jump, come to a high plank and fold. To draw that belly button toward the spine, place the left hand under your face. We're gonna shift to the outside of the left foot or down to that left knee for side plank. Reach the right arm up. And then now reach the right arm over the right ear. Press into that left hand, lift a little bit more for that right side leg. Good, bring the right hand down. Lower about half leg. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale to your down dog. Lifting the right leg up, stack your hips. Bend your knee. And now draw three big circles with the right knee. Opening through the hip. On an inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, knee to face ground. Inhale to extend. Exhale, now knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Knee to left elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale to your runner's lunge. Inhale, tap the left knee down, lift your chest. Exhale, stretch into that front leg, that right leg. Relax your shoulders. Holding here, walk your hands over to the right side. Drawing that right hip back. Good, come back to center. Bend into your front knee. Inhale, come up to crescent. On your exhale, lower the knee, cactus the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale. Exhale, lower. Stay there, I'm switching views. On your inhale, reach up. On this exhale, come into a twist with your left arm forward. Extend through that back leg. Lower the left hand down to the mat. Reach your right arm up. You can take your gaze up toward the right hand or keep it centered. Release the right hand down. Step your right foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower half leg. Inhale to your up dog. And exhale to your down dog. Just take three breaths here. Walk it out. And we'll get ready for the other side. Inhale that left leg all the way up. Stack your hips and bend your knee. Draw three big circles with the left knee. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to face. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale. Come to your runner's lunge. On an inhale, tap the right knee down, lift your chest. And as you exhale, stretch into your left leg. Draw your left hip back. Walk your hands over to the left side. Relax your shoulders. Walk the hands back to center, bend into your front knee. Inhale, come up to crescent. Three times, lower the knee, cactus the arms. Good, inhale. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, this time we'll twist, inhale, reach up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Lower the right hand down to the mat, under the shoulder, extending the left arm. You can look up, you can look center, or maybe down toward that right hand. But release the left hand down, step your left foot back into high plank. Move forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale to your up dog, and exhale to your down dog. 
Let's shift to high plank, get onto that right side, set the right hand under your right shoulder, come to the outside of the right foot, left arm. Stretch your left arm over your left ear. Press into the right hand, feeling that stretch open through the left side. Release the left hand down. Set your knees down and press back to extended child's pose. Sinking your hips to your heels. Okay, in your child's pose, can okay, move this down. You're gonna bring your hands to heart center, not heart center. You're gonna bring your hands together and then bend at the elbows and bring the fingertips toward the back of your neck. Walk the elbows even more forward. Press the triceps down so we're opening up the backs of the arms. <clears throat> Release your hands. On an inhale, come up to tabletop, tuck your toes. Lift the knees just about two to three inches off the mat. Draw the belly in. Core is engaged. Shoulders down. Good, next inhale, lift up your hips. Exhale, come into that downward dog. Gazing up toward the hands. You can either step or jump, come to your forward fold. Take an inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, swine dive up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale up. Swine dive down into your fold. Inhale and up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. So in your forward fold, bend your knees. Now squeeze your thighs toward each other. Tailbone scoops down. You're just going to inhale the arms forward. Exhale, sink your hips into chair pose. Keep squeezing your thighs, draw the shoulders down so the arms are straight forward. On an inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms forward back to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, head up flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Set your hands. Step or jump to high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower half plank. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale to your down dog. Let's extend the right leg up. Keep your hips square, flex through the toes. Take an inhale. And exhale, shift to high plank with that right leg lifted. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, step the right foot forward and bring your left foot in at 45 degrees. Stay low and reach your hands back. Lift the torso off that right thigh. Shoulders pull down. Find that nice long line in the spine. And then inhale, come up to warrior one. As you exhale, cactus the arms, left hip is forward. Good, inhale up. And this time we're going to twist, left arm comes forward, right arm back. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands down. Step the right foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Go ahead and lift up that left leg, flex the toes. Exhale, shift to your high plank. Inhale, lift. High plank. Good, one more time. Inhale. High plank. I think we did this more on the side, but that's all right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step forward. Right foot comes in. 
Inhale, come up to warrior one. As you exhale, cactus the arms all the right hip forward. Inhale up. This time you'll twist, right arm forward. Inhale up. Exhale, release the hands down. Step your right foot forward, come back into your fold. Inhale, head up. Good, exhale, fold. Bending your knees, squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, this time sweep the arms up, lower the hips. Exhale, come up to stand, hands up, heart center. Inhale, lower the hips, chair. Exhale to your forward fold. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step or jump high plank. Move forward on your toes, lower, halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's lift the right leg up. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. Left heel is pressing down. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to face. We'll do two more. Inhale, kick, even it up. Exhale, knee to face. One more. Knee to face this time, hold here. Step the right foot between the hands. Bring your left foot in at 45 degrees. Inhale, come up to warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms, draw that left to the forward. Inhale, reach up this time. We're going to exhale to warrior two. So the right arm comes forward. Left arm back. Square the shoulders. So right shoulder forward, right hip forward. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Right palm faces the ceiling. Reverse your warrior side body stretch. Cartwheel the arms down. Step your right foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower, halfway. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale to your down dog. And just walk it out. Let's see. I'll do this. Inhale your left leg up, stack the hips, bend the knee, press the right heel down. Inhale, lift your left leg. Just one time, knee to face and fold. And then step your left foot between the hands. Right foot comes in at 45 degrees. Inhale, coming up to warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms right foot forward. Inhale, extend. As you exhale, come into warrior two. Square the shoulders, square the hips. Inhale, straighten that front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Left palm faces the ceiling, reverse your way. Side body stretch. Cartwheel the arms down. Step your left foot back, high plank, and hold your high plank. Shoulders down. Left hand comes under your face. Shift to the outside of your left foot. Reach your right arm up. And then stretch the right arm over the right ear. Press into that left hand for a deeper stretch. Good. Bring the right hand down. Set your knees to the mat. Keep your hips above your knees and walk your hands forward. Lower the chest down, come into puppy pose. So draw the shoulder blades down your back. Think about separating the shoulders here. Finding some space. And then when you're ready, come back to your tabletop. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips, come into your down dog. We're going to come back to high plank. 
Setting the right hand under your face. Come to the outside of the right foot. Reach your left arm up. Stretch your left arm over your left ear, pressing into that right hand, finding a side body stretch. Good, now release the left hand down. Press back to your down bow. Take your gaze forward. Bend your elbows, bend your knees, step or jump into a fold. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale to your fold. Keep bending your knees, squeeze your thighs. Inhale, sweep the arms up, come into chair pose, lower those hips. On your exhale, come up to stand, hands up, heart center. Inhale, lower the hips, arms forward. This time on your exhale, Sweep the arms back, option to come on your toes. Heart forward. Good, inhale back to your heels. Exhale forward, fold. Inhale, head up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Set your hands, step or jump to your high plank. Move forward on your toes, lowering halfway. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale down dog. Let's lift the right leg up. Stack your hips. Bend your knee. If you want a deeper stretch, carefully lower down to the left forearm, left elbow, opening in through that right hip a little bit more. Come back up onto the hand. Inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, kick. Knee to left elbow. Inhale, kick. Exhale, runner's lunge. Left foot steps in. Come right up to warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms, left hip forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale into your twist, so the left arm comes forward, right arm up. You're going to straighten that right leg. Bring your right hand to your lower back and start to reach that left hand forward. Land the left hand down to your mat, maybe use a block under your left shoulder. Start to draw that right hand back as you open the chest to that right side. You can keep the hand on the hip. Just keep drawing that right hip back or you can extend that right arm. Good, release your right hand down. Take an inhale, just lift your head up, flat back. As you exhale, fold over that right leg, drawing the right hip back. Getting a deep stretch in that right hamstring. Go ahead and bend into your front knee. On an inhale, come back up to warrior one. And exhale, open up to warrior two. Right knee opens. Inhale, straighten your front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. I need a camera guy on this stuff. Reverse your warrior. And staying in reverse, you're just gonna straighten that front leg. Reverse triangle. Bring your upper body to center. And now moving into triangle, reach your right hand forward. Land the right hand down to the shin. Left arm extends, or bring your left hand to your left hip. Let's look down toward the right foot. Make sure that right knee is not locked out, so a little bend. Now take your gaze center. And then if it's okay with your neck, look up toward that left hand. Bring the head to center. 
Release your hands. Step your right foot back, high plank. Come forward on your toes, lower, halfway. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale to your down dog. Take three breaths. Partly so I can remember what we just did on that side, and partly to get your breath a little bit. So just breathe. Where can you let go? Finding some ease in the shoulders. Go ahead and extend your left leg up. Stack your hips and bend your knee. You have the option to stay here or you can lower down to that right elbow, right forearm. Opening into the hip a little bit more. Come back up onto the hand, inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your runner's lunge. Right foot steps in. Come on up to warrior one. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, cactus the arm, draw that right leg forward. Inhale up, this time we're gonna twist. So right arm comes forward, left arm back. Staying in your twist, left hand comes to your lower back. Straighten your front leg. Reach your right hand forward. And we're gonna bring the right hand down to the mat, maybe to a block maybe to your dog if he's right there for a little boost. Reach that left arm up if you want, or keep the hand on the hip. Draw the left hip back. So we're in a twist. Release the left hand down, framing that left foot, inhale, head up flat. Exhale, fold over that left leg, drawing the left hip back. Relax your shoulders. Oh my goodness, time is flying by. I must be having too much fun. Go ahead and bend into your front knee. We're going to come back up to warrior one. Excuse me as I spin around. Come up to warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that front leg, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Left hand, reverse, side body stretch. Straighten your front leg. Bring the upper body to center. And now we'll move into triangle. Reach the left hand forward, land the left hand on that left shin. Make sure you've got a little bend in that left knee. Extend the right arm up. Okay, now release your hands down. Step your left foot back, high point. Come forward on your toes, lower halfway. Inhale to your up dog, we're gonna stay here. Step the knees down, untuck your toes, bend the elbows, and draw the heart forward. Facing on you guys now. So a little modified up dog. Look past your right shoulder, and as you do that, left, left hip will drop down. Come back to center, and look past your left shoulder, letting the right hip come down. And back to center, just drawing the heart forward, shoulders back. Press into your table top. Extend your right leg back, just like we did at the beginning of class. Bring the leg over to the left as far as you can. Place that foot down. Bump your hips over to the right. Maybe now you can lower down to that left elbow, left forearm, getting a deeper stretch in the right side.
We come back up, extend the right leg. And go ahead and set the right knee down. Go ahead and extend the left leg now. Bring the leg over to the right. Ball of the foot comes down. Bump your hips to the left. And come back to center. Tabletop, keep your hips above the knees. Walk the hands forward, lower the chest down. Coming into your puppy pose. Nice shoulder opener here. Maybe finding a little bit of movement, if that feels good. And then come back to your tabletop. We're gonna have a seat. So I'm gonna face you guys. Go ahead and come on to your bottom. I'll adjust the camera here a little bit. So we're gonna come into feet outside, our feet right in front of the hips, coming into our figure four. Maybe I'll face the side. Hands behind you. Bring that right ankle onto the left thigh. Draw your right knee forward and then draw your heart forward. So lift through the chest. If you need to make any adjustments to deepen the stretch, you can draw that left foot in a little closer. You can walk the hands in if you want. Just stay lifted through the chest. Shoulders pull back. Right knee is forward, so activating that right knee the whole time. Staying in this position with the lower body, we're going to come down onto our back. So just walk the hands back, lowering all the way down. And then draw that left knee in. Hands reach, interlace the fingers together. Place the hands on that left shin. Draw the left knee in a little closer and press that right knee the whole time. Stay here with the legs, take the arms wide. You're gonna drop the knees, or the legs I should say, over to your left. So that right foot comes flat to the floor. Take your left hand, grab onto that right ankle and press the right knee even more forward. Stretching into that hip crease. <clears throat> and come back to center with the legs. Go ahead and take that right foot off the left thigh. Hug your knees into your chest. Just notice how that feels on the right side. And then roll your way up. Easier said than done. Hands behind you. Bring that left ankle on the right thigh. Stay lifted through the chest. Press that back knee forward. And if you need to make any adjustments, maybe draw that right foot in. Keep pressing that left knee forward. Keep lifting through the heart. And then we're going to come on to our back. All the way down. Drawing that right knee in. Hands come through, interlace the fingers together and pull that right knee in. Press that left knee forward to keep that stretch in the left side. Maybe just noticing any difference you may feel from the right side. Let's take the arms wide. Bring the legs over to your right. So that foot comes down. Your right hand grabs that left ankle, press the left knee forward.
Release that right hand in place. Come back to center. Go ahead and take that left ankle off of the right thigh. Hug your knees into your chest. Press the lower spine back into the mat. And then grow long through your neck by reaching the top of your head to the wall behind you. Tuck your chin in slightly. Feel how that lace lengthens through the neck. And then draw the shoulders down. And maybe find a little movement here. And we'll set the feet down to the mat. So the knees are bent about hip width apart. Arms down by your sides. Think of reaching your fingertips to your heels. Keep that chin in. Press into your feet and gently lift your hips, coming into an easy bridge pose just to open up that front body. So hips are lifted. Fingertips reach if you want a little bit more. Bring the hands together, opening up through the shoulders. Lifting the hips just a little bit more. Be mindful of your neck here. Chin comes in. Lengthen. One more inhale. Exhale, release the hands. Lower your spine. One vertebrae at a time. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. Let your knees drop out wide. So starting to slow down here. Close your eyes. Tune into your breath. Let go of any distraction. Release any effort and just let gravity pull the knees down. Slowly, keeping the eyes closed, bring your knees together. And then you're going to walk your feet out wide, maybe as wide as the mat or wider if you'd like. And just let the knees drop toward each other. If you want to, you can windshield wiper the legs and so bringing the right knee over to the right with that left knee drop down. And then switch, bringing the right knee down. Left knee comes over to the left. Bring the knees back to center. Take the knees apart. Feet come about hip width. And one more time, hug your knees into your chest. Grabbing opposite elbows, maybe finding a gentle sway, side to side. I'm going to end with legs up against the wall pose or imaginary wall, really reach the feet up toward the ceiling. You can place a pillow under your hips if you want a little prop there, but just keep your knees bent. Arms can be wherever is comfortable and just close your eyes. Reversing the blood flow here. If it feels good, just move those feet around in a few circles. Breathing, softening any tension that you might be holding even in your jaw, your shoulders. Feel yourself supported by the earth underneath of you. And then slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Extend the legs. Take a full body stretch, inhale. 
And exhale, float the arms down by your sides. Palms can face up or palms can face down, depending on what feels good to you. Close your eyes. Softening the jaw. Take the tongue off the roof of your mouth. As you breathe, feel your heart lifting. On your exhales, just release any tension in the arms. Feel the slow rise and fall of your belly. Release any tension from your hips. Soften the thighs. And let the feet fall out to the side. Taking some time to just be right here. No expectations. Connecting with your body, your mind. Since you're at home, you're allowed to stay in this final shavasana as long as you need to. Thank you so much for showing up today and supporting our community in this crazy time. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Next live class is at noon. Remember to let your weird light shine bright so the other weirdos know where to find you. Namaste. Thank you so much. Stop.